Oh, the cute factor. They're just so cute. Cute little baby birds. Oh, so cute. <laughs> That's awesome. I haven't seen something like that on a campus before. <laughs> G'day and welcome to A Life That Travels. I'm Rob Malicki and today I'm at James Cook University at the Cairns campus in far north Queensland. This is such a spectacular part of the world. We're going to be walking around this campus um, and talking about what makes it tick. Now, just like all of a Life That Travels unbiased university reviews, I've got no agenda here other than to try and present you the best possible information. By the end of this video, you should have an idea about whether James Cook Uni is the uni for you. So let's go and have a chat and a walk around and enjoy this wonderful place. James Cook Uni was established back in like 1961, I believe. Um, it was based on one of the institutes that was uh, established here in North Queensland to begin with. And uh, then in like 1970, it actually became a university and finally was named James Cook Uni around 1971. So it's got a long history. One of the things that I love about the Cairns campus, I've been here many times, is just how you can be in amongst the rainforest um, and experiencing this amazing environment that Australia has up here in the tropical north. Um, and it's right here, like on campus, you've got scrub turkeys, you've got other wildlife, plenty of na native uh, vegetation here. It really is just a beautiful, beautiful campus. Right now you can see these kind of waterways uh, pretty dry and that's because at time of filming, it's the end of the dry season here in uh, Northern Australia. The humidity is rising, I can even feel it today, I can feel the humidity rising. And when it rains here, it really rains. But what a great cultural experience, you know. Firstly, if you are from one of those tropical places, you're gonna feel right at home here. And if you've never experienced the tropics, maybe even if you live somewhere else in Australia and you wanna experience something completely different in your own country, come to the tropics. James Cook in Cairns, amazing. We're talking, we're talking about nature on campus, like wandering back towards my car and literally here on the ground, you have a car curlew, um, which is a uh, native Australian bird. These guys make the most amazing sound. Oh, you're not very happy. He's got some eggs under there. I nearly walked on you. That's pretty awesome. You're not very happy with me. You can't really hear that kind of hissing, growling sound. I'm gonna leave it alone to its eggs. Bye bye good experience just got stopped by security and it's funny because I've basically been um, filming these university reviews all over Australia and at almost no university have I been stopped by security so thumbs up to the JCU security and a really good customer service experience so very positive love you guys thank you <laughs> and thanks for allowing me to film that's the most important I love how just up behind the university here at Smithfield about 15 kilometers outside the middle of Cairns and you see the range just explodes up there into the into the distance, it is such a magnificent part of Australia. Do you have any questions or comments for me? I love replying to comments and getting back to people, so make sure you drop it right down below in the chat and I will definitely get back to you. One of the things I love about universities like James Cook, and there are many others around Australia, is that they really know their community and they're really important parts of their communities. And in James Cook Uni's uh, situation, it's chosen to be um, what it self-proclaims to be a university of the tropics. And a great example here is like the Australian Institute of Tropical Health and Medicine, very well known, um, not just here, in Australia but around the world and other disciplines things like marine biology you have the Great Barrier Reef right here an extraordinary world-class strength for this university so understanding its strengths and understanding its place in the community has helped this university to thrive both here in Cairns as well as in Townsville. Well what can you study at James Cook Uni it is a comprehensive institution teaching everything from the arts and humanities through to your creative disciplines uh, and business which is very reputable it's got the only uh, law school in regional Queensland and then through to your um, more STEM disciplines, things like medicine, engineering, uh, math sciences, biology, marine biology. You really can study just about everything here. And that's very much in line with the ethos of regional institutions of needing to serve their communities and offer a wide variety of subjects. JCU does have some units available externally as well. Um, and I guess like every university after COVID, uh, you're now gonna be able to do a lot more studies online if that's your thing. 
The campus here in Smithfield is about 15 kilometers outside the city center of Cairns. I love Cairns, it is such a vibrant city. It's uh, normally full of tourists and backpackers and lots of life. So that, along with that comes all of the good stuff that you can usually imagine um, with an amazing nightlife, plenty of adventure and activities to undertake on the weekends and keep you busy. So there's definitely upsides there. The difficulty with Smithfield um, is being away from the center of Kansas. If you do wanna be in the middle of that life, you're gonna to have to commute. There are buses that run up here. The advantage, of course, of living up here at Smithfield itself is that accommodation is not that expensive. If you compare a place like this with uh, Sydney, where you're just bleeding money every single day if you're living there because it's so expensive, there's a definite economic advantage to coming to a campus on the outskirts of Cairns. Very nice. <laughs> now, it does have a campus actually, uh, a building down in the middle of Cairns itself where dentistry is taught as well as some of the law subjects. So there are an increasing number of options for JCU. It is an institution that has been looking to increase its footprint um, and that's been one of the moves the uni has made in order to make itself more accessible to students. Well, speaking of accommodation, there is accommodation available right here on the JCU Cairns campus. And that's actually new since I was here last. So. It's really cool to see this university continuing to invest in its infrastructure. Certainly when we get down to Townsville and you see the next video, that campus has changed enormously since I was first there, maybe like 10 or 15 years ago, and it's looking beautiful, and they've done the same here in Cairns. Thumbs up. And this is the JCU Ideas Lab. This is a brand new facility that's just opened at time of filming. You can see it's the most active place on campus right now because this is where you come if you're interested in starting a business or running an enterprise or connecting your research to the real world. So fantastic, smells new, brand new facility and a great place to connect with uh, like-minded students. Thumbs up JCU. This is pretty cool, like little um, student area where you can whip up a meal, use the microwaves, sandwich makers and even fridges. Now that's pretty neat. That I haven't seen anywhere in Australia place where you can actually bring your lunch and leave it in a student fridge. Just don't leave it in there too long. <laughs> or it shall be taken. It's still in my lunch. Well, let's talk about rankings because rankings are important for some people. And the first thing I say about rankings is um, the important caveat to always look into the detail because, you know, a university might not rank super high overall, but for the disciplines that are important to you, the discipline you want to study, it might actually be world class. So just saying that the university is the best in Australia or really lowly ranks doesn't give the whole story. Always, always look into the detail. And you can find the detail on an Australian government website um, called Compared uh, you know, compared.edu today, I'll put the link right down here and you can look that up. Compared allows you to actually dive into the different discipline areas of various institutions and look at all sorts of things like um, student satisfaction, graduate outcomes, graduate starting s salaries, uh, employer satisfaction, so all of the great detail about what it's like to study here at the university. And that's all independent information from students and employers themselves, so very good source of information. The other rankings that you might look at are the ones produced by commercial entities like QS or the Australian, uh, sorry, the um, Academic Rankings of World Universities. And on those rankings, JCU performs very, very well. It ranks typically somewhere between like 200 and 300 in the entire world, which puts us in the top one to one and a half percent of institutions across the entire world. So it's very, very well reputed. Here in Australia, the rankings vary quite a lot, and it ranks anywhere from around about 10 to 14, right through to about 20 um, out of 40 universities uh, you know, in total, which means it's comfortably comfortable in the top half of institutions. But the thing to remember about that ranking is that essentially all of Australia's universities are ranked in the top thousand. So to be ranked in the top part of the top universities in Australia is a really good endorsement for this institution. Please hit the subscribe button, that's where you get started and that way you'll get notifications of all the new content that I put out about helping you find your ideal university. Okay. Hey guys, this is Celine. Hiya. How are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> I've just crashed your what, chemistry <laughs> session, <Yeah. laughs> study session, awesome. Hey, tell me what it's like to study here at JCU Cairns. It is very fun. Yep. Um, I have made a lot of friends, such as... <laughs> These shady characters off camera. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um... What, what do you like about studying here? What's kind of like, what do people need to know if they're not from here? Um, it's very hot. Mm -hmm. It is um, multicultural. Mm -hmm. I have made a lot of friends that across the, the, the world that come to travel here. Um, and 
You need to buy a house that is close to the beach so really? you can chill. Yeah. Okay. Is it far from the beach here at Smithfield? Because it seems like quite a quite a long way outside. No, the city definitely itself. not. Yeah. It's um, from where I live. Um, it only takes like two minutes to go down to our beach. Yeah. And from chasing you to the beach, probably takes like five minutes. Awesome. Yeah. And what's what's it like life on campus like normally? Because obviously it feels like this is like holidays right now and it COVID is. times. There's like nobody here. Yeah. But what's the vibe like here normally? The vibe is pretty chill out. There's lots of cafe and there's a lot of like things that people can do. Yeah. There's like a room with like a piano and stuff that people can come and play. Um, the nature is beautiful. Like, we've got like the creek running around. We've got like a little walkway. Um, yeah, just just sit on the grass, having a cup of coffee, having tea, lunch. And that's pretty good. And what about Cairns in general? Is Cairns a pretty cool place to come and study? It is. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, you got the beach everywhere. Um, if you decided to leave from Smithfield onwards. Um, and you also got the beautiful fruit and veg um, market, lots of fresh fruit. If you're vegan, it's definitely the place. Awesome, good, yeah. good to know. Yeah, um, we have the market called the Rusty Market and um, it's on every weekend. It's got lots of fruit and vegetables um, and all the tropical fruit. You know, like um, if you sort of love to try different things, that's definitely the place to go. Cool, so would you recommend it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Awesome, yeah. go on, thanks for your time. No worries. Because Cairns is the smaller of the two uh, campuses here in Australia, the things like food, eateries and stuff on campus, there's not a huge amount of variety here uh, because only with 4,000, 5,000 students here, there's just not quite that demand. That said, you do have the basics that you need. You do have facilities in order to be able to prepare your own. And here in Smithfield itself, not far from here, you actually have access to supermarkets and all kinds of shops and other eateries as well. So the fact that there's not a huge amount on campus uh, itself, I don't find is a, is a huge deal. You know, in chatting with people here, the only real criticism that I heard was that, you know, because it's a smaller campus here, you don't have a huge um, variety of subjects being taught and a lot more subjects being taught down at Townsville. So if you're tr choosing between you know, Tan Townsville and Cairns and you really wanted that diversity of choices, then maybe being in Townsville would be a better choice for you. However, people love the pace of life here on campus. They love the lifestyle, they love the vibe. It does get very hot here. <laughs> but outside of that, this is a very, very nice place to come and study. It's been so good showing you around James Cook University in Cairns. Remember to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time on A Life That Travels. I'm Rob Malicki. Have a great day.